Hi kids, I'm Teacher Noel, a grade 10 mathematics teacher at your service. Allow me to guide you in understanding and accomplishing your learning tasks. This video will focus on milk number 20 for week 7. The topic is calculating time in a different world time zone in relation to the buildings. With the learning competency, calculates time in a different world time zone in relation to the buildings. Are you ready to learn? Let's begin! Do you know that the movement of the Earth 15 degrees longitude every hour is the cause of different time zones or standard time at different places in the world? The Earth takes 24 hours to complete its full revolution of 360 degrees. Hence, we have 24 standard time zones. Before I proceed to my discussion, I have here a short exercise that might help you in understanding the lesson. Tell the exact time as indicated by each of the expressions below. You will be allotted 15 seconds to accomplish the task. Your timer starts now. Time is up! Kindly get your answer sheets and check your work. Here is the answer guide. Well done kids! Congratulations! <laughs> Examine the table on the next slide. It shows time in different places. Related to the standard time in our country. A positive sign indicates ahead of time and the negative symbol means behind. As you can see in the table, the first column reflects the place. The second column is the day of the given place. The third column and the fourth column is the time in 12 hour and 24 hour clock format. The last column gives the difference of time from the Philippine Standard Time or PST to the time of other places. The time in Manila, Philippines in the first row is our reference. If it is 10 a.m. in Manila, Philippines and you are asked to give the time in Japan, it is 11 a.m. You'll just add 1 hour since Japan is 1 hour advance compared to Manila, Philippines. While in Sydney, Australia, it's 3 hours ahead. New York is 12 hours behind. I'll give you a few seconds to familiarize the information given on the table. Based on the time in Manila, Philippines, what do you think is the time in South Africa? Did you say 4 a.m.? You're right! Just subtract 6 hours from the reference time because South Africa is 6 hours behind. I believe you are now ready for challenging activities. Let's apply what you have learned by answering the following exercises. Let's start with Activity A. First, I am going to give you an example and you will accomplish the 5 item test after. Using the Philippine Standard Time of 9.30 a.m., give the time in the selected places. What is the time in Dubai if it is 4 hours behind? If your answer is 5.30 a.m., excellent! Your answer is correct. All you need to do is subtract 4 hours from 9.30 a.m.
Now, it's your turn to answer the 5 item test. I will give 50 seconds to finish the task. Time starts now. Time is up! Get your answer sheets and check if you were able to answer the test correctly. Here is the answer guide. Well done! Congratulations! We may now proceed to our next activity. For activity B, calculate the time of other places below based on the given Philippine standard time. Express your answer in 12-hour and 24-hour clock format. I will give you an example and you will finish the rest. The given Philippine Standard Time is half past 2 p.m. What time is it in South Africa? Since the BST is not directly specified, you need to know what half past 2 p.m. means. Past means after and half means half an hour that is 30 minutes. Therefore, half past 2 p.m. is 2.30 p.m. You have learned earlier that South Africa is 6 hours delayed. Now, we can find the time in South Africa. We need to subtract 6 hours from 2.30 p.m. Since it is not possible to subtract 6 from 2, we need to convert 2.30 p.m. to 24-hour clock format. We will just add 12 hours to 2.30 p.m. It becomes 14.30 hours. 14.30 hours is just the same with 2.30 p.m. If we subtract 6 hours from 14.30 hours, we get 08.30 hours. 08.30 hours is in 24-hour clock format. And 8.30 a.m. is the 12 or clock format. Now, it's your turn to answer the 10 item test. Your timer starts now. Time is up! Here are the answers. Did you get all the answers correctly? Great job! You are now ready for the next activity. For activity B.2, read each statement carefully. Write your answer on the space provided before the number. I will do the task for item number 1 and you will do the rest. It is 
10.30 p.m. in the Philippines. If Abu Dhabi is 4 hours behind, what is the time there? All you need to do is subtract 4 hours from 10.30 p.m. And the answer is 6.30 p.m. Now, are you ready to accomplish items number 2 to 5? Let's begin! Again, you have 40 seconds to finish the task. Your timer starts now. Time is up! Here are the answers. Well done, kids! For the last activity, using the clock and each item showing the Philippine Standard Time, give the time of the given place in 12-hour and 24-hour clock formats. Based on the clock, what time is it? Correct! It is 2.45 p.m. This time, you are asked to give the time in Paris, France based on the given Philippine Standard Time. Remember, in relation to the Philippine Standard Time, Paris, France is 7 hours behind. So, what time is it there? The first thing that you should do is convert 2.45 p.m. to 24-hour clock format. In doing that, just add 12 hours more so it becomes 14.45 hours. You may now subtract 7 from 14.45 hours. And the answer is 7.45 a.m. That is in 12-hour clock format. While it's 07.45 hours in 24-hour clock format. You may now subtract 7 hours from 14.45 hours. The answer is 7.45 a.m. That is in 12-hour clock format, while 07.45 hours is in 24-hour clock format. Now, are you ready to accomplish item number 2 to 5? Again, you have 40 seconds to finish the task. Time starts now. Time is up! Here are the answers. Well done, kids! Congratulations! You have successfully finished Melt 20 for Week 7. I hope you learned a lot from my discussion. Always remember, you can find solutions to any problem. Have faith and practice more. You can do it. Thank you for watching. See you next time. Bye!